Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, this is How to App on iOS, episode 201. I hope you are all doing cool bananas. Ooh, yeah. How do you do, folks? I hope you're all doing well. I firstly just want to say thank you to everybody who sent me well wishes yesterday as I wasn't feeling well. And thank you, everybody, for all the nice words on us secretly. And I'm going to say us, which I normally say me or I for the channel because uh, it's only me running it, but it's all of you because we're all warts and we all rise together. But thank you because we passed 200 episodes yesterday. I was going to mention it in the show, but I just wasn't feeling up to it. So we'll talk a little bit more about what we're going to do about it, possibly. So, uh, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. Hey, if you're watching over on Facebook, what the hell are you doing? Get over here to YouTube where there's a really cool community at youtube.com slash jadestar, or you can jump over to how to app on iOS.com and watch the show daily in the browser. And then about 12 hours later, it gets removed and put up with the next day's show. And so I'm going to chill today. I have my coffee here. Yes, yum. Haven't had coffee for the last few mornings. That's probably part of the reason that things have been tough. Mm. Ah, that's damn good stuff. Alrighty, so I just want to give out a shout out also to, because, you know, we reached 200 episodes. Look, it's an amazing milestone. 1,300 subscribers in only seven months. You know, it's amazing. Um, so I also want to uh, thank uh, my patrons who, uh, without them, I'm not going to say it, Pete, I don't know if you're there, I'm not going to say it, without them, I wouldn't be able to keep the show rolling. <laughs> you see what I did there? Because all of the uh, money that I make from Super Chats and from Patreon all go to my subscriptions, keeping my website alive, it co- basically it covers it all each month so i don't have to worry about that and can just eat so thank you so very no i'm not doing the joke joey helvish but i want to thank my patrons paying to get who's a brand new uh patron steve perry bradley uh martin alex Bacchus, bill johnson the sound test room doug and joe thank you dean thomas andy goldsby gino therese ed Zelinsky, russ Dr. Zord, I'm not doing the sound. Dr. Zord is. Sion, Gary Hubs, Greg Hernandez, Patrick Baird, Stu Cash, Deep Gravity, James Barclay, aka Cold Acre, um, Steve P. Kirby, Wall RTB Studios, Lady Rudeline Straight, Thomas Rochelle, Bubba, and Pete Johns. Thank you all so very much. And. Thank you guys, my warts here, over here, every day in the chat, in the comments. Man, you guys make it so worthwhile to get up to and just see all of your smiling text faces. So thank you all very much. I'm going to say hello to you all now before we jump into what's happening today. Oh yeah, by the way, if you want to jump past all this stuff, <laughs> too late. But you can click the timestamps in the description. <gasps> Or in the comments, pinned comment, so you can jump straight to the app review if you're sick of this. But I made you listen to it first if you're watching on the replay. So, hello to Lady Rude Land Street. Hello to, uh, where am I? Ed B. Naughty Box. Oh, your Naughty Box. Um, SM (laughs) Borthwick. Ed Zielinski. Um... SM Borthwick, did I already say I did? Man, it's weird. What am I doing? Tom Rochelle, Cy, Danny Broderick. Uh, let's see as I scroll down and try to read everything. Scott, thank you to you too, my friend. Um, where are we? Colin Powell. Who else is here? Who else? Joey Helper Show, he said hello to you, buddy. Bubba, hello to you, Bubba. Um, anyone else? Thomas Galane. Thomas Galane. Hey, if you haven't subbed to Thomas Galane's YouTube channel, really go and do it. Uh, he, he's got like 11 people. Is that right? Man. 
That's something that has to be done. I sound like hippie. I sound like hippie, don't I? Get down there. Sort that shit out, man. Sort that shit out. That's that's a crime. All right, so um, let's have a look at if there's any new apps that are on sale. There's only one extra one that's been added to the list, which is Soundmaster Custom Tube, which is by Nembrini. So that's about half price. But that's all that looks like there's as a change from yesterday. So we had three, four pockets apps. They're all still there. I want to play you something, um, some music before we kick off. So buckle up because I had the privilege once again, man. How many great artists uh, frequent this page and Pete Johns and Metalhead Hippie and all these great channels. Um, I had the privilege to uh, master the new Gary Hub single, which is uh, premiering today on the Hippie Metalhead Hippie channel. So if you don't know where Metalhead Hippie channel is, just go and type in search in Google Metalhead Hippie and you'll find his channel and he's doing his show 8, 9, 10. So six hours from now, he is premiering the new Gary Hubs single, which I was lucky enough to master. So I'm going to play you a little bit of it just to kick off and wake you all up, yeah? So this is called Fandango and this is a section of the new Gary Hubs single Ooh, yeah <laughs> all you get sorry sorry about that <laughs> head over to hippies channel metalhead hippie uh, so it's in about yeah i think i said six hours and um he'll be playing the whole lot the video clip the whole thing so it's a wicked video clip i got to see it yesterday very exciting stuff and once again thank you gary hubs i know you're not here right now but thank you for letting me master your track Man, I've got to master so many great songs lately which is really cool thank you all pete johns you're late get in the corner in the corner, you missed it. I did the joke. <laughs> You're going to have to go back, man. But I did a variation of the joke. <laughs> hey, thanks, Sai, for subbing to Thomas Glane, man. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to repeat that. So uh, before we jump in as well, I just want to let you all know. So um, when to look, at, um, Hetriani, who was going to be interviewed on the show this week, and something's come up uh, personal with work, of course, you know, hey, we're all, you know, well, not me. I know a lot of us are, you know, trying to balance life, music, work and all that kind of stuff. And it looks like Hetriani might not be able to make it for the interview this week. So, uh, you know, it still could go ahead. There is a chance, a very, very slim, slim, slim chance. But because we missed the uh, anniversary of the 200th episode this week or yesterday, if it doesn't happen on Thursday, your time, because you're all living in the past, we are going to do something to celebrate. Uh, I might do like a live performance and have a look back at some stuff. I don't know. Looking back at stuff means more work. So we might do a crazy live performance with some crazy gear, um, do a mixture of uh, Dread Circus acoustic stuff and some really gnarly drone stuff and a bit of death metal stuff. We might make it a bit crazy, yeah? So... Hopefully, you know, hopefully Hetriani's right. But if not, we will reschedule it for a couple of weeks from now. So all is good. Don't panic. He will still be on the show. Just life gets in the way sometimes. Yeah. All righty. So I uh, should announce also, shall we get it out the way right now? Because we have a competition. So we had a uh, another giveaway for the Swarm Trumpets, which was two shows ago. Um, had a lot of people enter, so 
and for this episode today we're looking at the swarm bundle today so and there's another giveaway for this one as well so what i might do let's do something a bit different instead of waiting to the end of the show let's give away the uh, trumpet app so there's two of them to be given away maybe if this thing works there we go so let's do it at the beginning of the show let's mix things up nobody likes boring so again man look 52 people 52 people entered so thank you all for entering and for once i tried to leave a comment on all your entries <laughs> i know i'm slack with that but you know they're entries but um i did my best so we got 52 people yeah 52 people so let's um there's, a, there's all the names look at all these names my goodness me so we're going to draw these now instead of at the end of the show so i can just relax and 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 show you these apps and uh, good luck everybody so two of them it's only the trumpet ones and we'll explain after this uh, how the next comp is working or the next giveaway so bring let's do it 47 goodness me there's so many names 47 it's dex brownie dex brownie there you go dex brownie all right let's do this last one get it over and done with um 19 which happens to be el levy there we go so that's those two out the way thanks for entering everybody but don't worry because we are giving away more and what are we looking at today let's do a scene cut so i can put in the gap in the show for the replay we are looking at today the swarm brass instruments and i'm calling it bundle one so let's bring it up on the screen here swarm um brass okie doke so we are looking at which bundle we are looking at the horns and tuba bundle today and we will be giving away we i'm doing it already i <laughs> i here on my show will be giving away to you man russ is going to slap me around the face <laughs> Russ, slap me around. <laughs> All right. Uh, so now out of these five apps that are in this bundle, you can select any one of them if you are one of the two winners. Okay. So they are a Swarm French horn in B flat. There is a Swarm French horn in F there is a swarm euphonium there is a swarm tuba in e flat and a swarm bass tuba so if you're one of the winners you can choose from any one of those five let's talk about the price of these bundles because they are currently on sale from what i believe so um all of the swarm apps are actually on sale at the moment so they're 20 dollars. so 1995 uh 1999 us okay they will be going up to 29.99 and with the uh the pack the bundle the, the when the price goes up to normal price it will be 99.99 but they're currently on sale for 85 i think it's 84.99 so i'm pretty sure it's like 15 dollars off at the moment so they are on sale here yeah? so they will be going up i do believe on the 22nd of this month so that is in five days time and hopefully i'll have another because i'm doing two more episodes looking at the other two bundles so you will have so you've got three more chances to win a copy at least of something and i must stress if you've already won one of them out of these um giveaways we're doing try not to enter for the other ones if you've already won so the people who won today to give everybody a chance in the spirit of we all rise together let's have everyone at least walk away with one copy yeah is that good you agree with me i think it's fair i think we you know we all rise together we all look after each other let's make sure everyone at least who enters at least gets one and nobody gets a double or anything like that let's just be cool yeah i like it so here are the ones we're looking at today we've gone through the price and all that jazz and i'm going to show you now if we get out of here we're going to open this up in aum so i've got all of them set up here in aum all five of them let's flick across to a different camera view <gasps> look at that 
Look at that. Yes. We have camera action. Ooh. Now, I want to let you know, the thing is with these um, uh, fantastic apps, they are very expressive. Okay, and on the previous show that I did on just the trumpet, we looked at using it with GeoShred, yeah? Because in GeoShred, if you don't own an expression uh, controller, you're able to do all that kind of stuff using GeoShred. So that makes it re really super expressive. And when you tend to play these without um, all, the, all the expression, they can sound a little bit flat. Don't get me wrong, because they sound incredible, I believe, standalone by themselves, right? So, um, uh, but Danny Broderick says, Jade, am I right in saying that these are in GeoShred? No, these aren't in GeoShred. You've got a whole bunch of different Swarm instruments in GeoShred. But if you go back, Danny, to two days ago, I actually showed you one of these being used in GeoShred. So you can actually use them in GeoShred, yeah? I can put down my vape now right now I want to let you know how I've got this set up because it is important because as you can tell this is my Arturia Keystep 37 that I did a cool review on if you haven't seen that I'll put a card up above up here there there, there do it up there no there <laughs> so you can check that out but this doesn't have an expression pedal or anything built into it. So I've had to try and make a Frankenstein expression pedal to get around to be able to show you just how expressive it can be on a keyboard. Now, how have I done that? Well, I'm glad you asked. See here in, um, let's go full screen and I'll show you. So let's just look at the first one here. I'm going to open this up. So this is the screen that you get with each of the uh, Swarm Brass apps. They all look the same. The only difference is the little picture down here that shows you the actual instrument that you're playing. But the layout is completely identical. So if you learn one of them, you'll understand all of them. Now, the beautiful thing about these is that you can uh, set up your, you can MIDI learn practically any button on here. It's, it's fantastic. The amount of depth that has gone into these apps to set up MIDI learning. So let's kick off by going across the top here. I'm going to start over here in the top right hand corner, right? So we have clearly settings and, and such. Um, pretty basic stuff, controller mapping, reset, parameter log. We're not going to go too much into that stuff because we've got two more episodes of this. But what we're going to look at here is this MIDI button. So I'm going to click on this MIDI button. It puts colors across all of these expressions right so and how you can tell which ones connected to the expression pedals by the color these here are connected and these aren't so what we're going to do is we're going to connect these up straight away now before we do that i'm just going to show you over here what do i have this connected to so you'll see in my list of um, midi controls i have connected i uh, have it connected to the Arturia Keystep 37, but you'll see underneath that I have it connected to my brand new iRig Stomp IO, which I'm going to be doing a review of next week, which I just received from IK Multimedia, and it's fucking awesome. Why? Because it's got MIDI built into it, and it's got an expression pedal, so I can make a Frankenstein version. So now I've got my keyboard, and now I have my uh so i have my um eye rig stomp on the floor with the expression pedal so all right let's show you how i'm going to do this we'll jump over a split screen and just uh, give you another view here so i want to now set up these um let's close this close this out and you'll see if i click on the expression here you can see it's already mapped if i put my foot on the uh, foot controller you can see it's moving yeah all good and that's coming off my eye rig stomp it's like the uh, volume swell or the, the wah-wah pedal on the floor you can see my leg here going up and down no I'm not masturbating hey Joe did I did you just hey there you are hey Joe how are you welcome along alrighty so now we want to map the rest now 
I don't have so um, the, uh, a, an expression, a specific expression unit. So I'm going to set the rest of the things up to these knobs here. <laughs> knobs. So if I hit the MIDI and then I touch on this flutter tongue and hit learn and now turn this. Cool. There's my flutter tongue. That's learned. Look how simple this is. It's so good. Now I want my growl. I'm going to hit learn again. Do the second knob here. Done. Sweet. Cool bananas. Now I'm going to learn the breath noise. Hit learn. And do the third knob. Sweet. How easy was that? So now that's all set up. We're all good to go. We've got, as you can see, when I'm moving my foot pedal on my iRig, you can see the dynamic envelope moving up and down. Now if I turn the first knob here, you can see in the bottom left hand corner, the flutter tongue moving, my growl moving, and the third one is my breath noise. And over here we have the mod, which is controlling the vibrato, and the final one, which is controlling the pitch bend. So we've got everything all set up and the velocity is controlled by the keys. Nice and easy to set up, yeah? So if you've got an expression pedal, you can plug that in the back of your Arturia. I don't have an expression pedal, that's why I'm using the iRig. But it all works out, nice. Hello Doug, welcome to you. Very cool show. I love your new graphics, Doug, in uh, today's show. It's very, uh, very, uh, <laughs> I need an effect for it. Very hippie. Oh, wow, man. Peace, man. Anyway, all right, let's get back to it. So we have right now, the first instrument is the French horn that we're looking at. Um, and it's the French horn in B flat. So I've got my uh, expression pedal off. Let's, oh, what's going on? Why have, I, why have I got dodgy sound? Is it because I've got too many things open? I think that's why. Let's just close a bunch of things. Yeah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, go away. That should be better. Oh, maybe it's this. One sec. La la la, technical difficulties. We'll be back with you shortly. Uh, you gotta love live streaming. Oh man. <laughs> what the hell? You know, 10 minutes before we went on, everything was working fine. I don't know what's changed. Uh, goody goody gumdrops. Oh, so we've got a, for some reason, the DSP's at full. Let's um, see if we can fix that. Why can't I drag this? There we go. I don't know why that's happening because we've added nothing onto there. Um, there we go. We have sound back. Let's see if I open it, if it blows it out. Close the app and reopen it. Will I lose all this setup? Let's just save it just in case. Um, we'll save this session. You know, that's it's so weird because I've, I've had it set up for the last hour and <laughs> not had one problem whatsoever at all. Everything has been working beautifully. So I don't get it. Let's see them all load up. Okay, so we're back. All right, um, now, I think it's when I open it that we have a hassle. So, um, let's just do this. Let's just check our buffer size. We can change that, see if that... Uh, that's better. Thanks, Doug, for reminding me of that. 
<laughs> Alrighty, and hopefully we can open it now and we're all good. Cool, now you can see everything. You can see what I'm doing here with the expression and everything. So you can see my um, expression pedal here being clicked. And let's turn down the growl and the flutter. Bring up the breath so you can see as I turn these knobs. Right, so it works okay when I'm not showing it. So it's pretty impressive the sounds that you can get out of it with the expression. It's all about the expression, yeah? If I, uh, just for now too, what I might do is just, let's just do this. I might just get rid of this one just to make it a little bit less. Um, and we'll come back to the euphonium at, at the end. What we're listening to now is the French horn in B flat. So if we jump out of this and jump over to the next one, which is the French horn in F. So there's very subtle differences between the two French horns, right? It's, it's all in the timber. And how you can hear the difference between them actually is by uh, moving up uh, it, when you transpose the keyboard. So when you're going higher and lower, that's when you hear the differences between all of them. I'm just going to jump into uh, the uh, tuba now, just so you can hear a bit of that. <laughs> So this is the bass tuba. If we flick that off and jump over to the, uh, what is this? This is a tuba in B fl E flat, I think it is, yeah. Whoops, I got both of them running. See if we can open up the app and not uh, have it freak out the DSP. Cool. So we'll go back as well to this first one here. All right, we'll bring that back into the show. So uh, there we go. We are back with the French horn. 
So you can see how the expression really makes these things sound uh, phenomenal, beautiful sounds, right? And again, like I said in the last show, these come in at thir under 30 megabytes each app. That's just ludicrous. So let's have a look at, this, at the actual screen here and run through what's going on here. And then we'll have a, a, we'll bring up the euphonium again and have a listen to that. Uh, all right, so here is your screen. And uh, across the top here in the left-hand corner, you've got the expressivity. So there's a lot of customization to happen as well here. So when we open this up, man, look at all this stuff. So you'll see when I turn the knobs here that I've set up with the MIDI Learn, you can see the flutter tongue changing here. You can change the attack of the tongue. You can get right into this. Now I'll use my expression pedal. You can see that moving when I'm changing the vibrato depth. You can see that, and you can actually change the vibrato rate as well by changing this. If we bring this right back down. So you've even got like uh, the attack noise. Uh, you've got the growl here as well. So if I play with the growl. and the reactivity, right? So how it... How it actually reacts, the actual react, reacting time. So a lot of depth in, in just that first section there. So very nice. Then you've got play modes here, so you can actually get into the, the pipe gestures and change the valves, right? So let's just give you a sample of that. So a half valve, a normal valve, and a half tra trans uh, valve there. You've got mutes as well, and I'll show you them graphically. But you can change everything that's on the front screen, normally in these little sections here. So you've got your legato priority, pedal notes, a whole lot of stuff. And you can even get right into the timbre of each instrument. Change the bell resonance, the, bre the breath noise, which we can control here as well. So they put a damn lot of work into this, you know. Um, they, they, they really want you to get the, the best experience from brass that you possibly can. You've even got the master tuning of each instrument, and you can even break it down into micro tuning. I'm not going to touch any of this because I don't want to mess with the tuning of it right now <laughs> and make it sound like poo. Um, advanced stuff. Now, a lot of this stuff is unaccessible. I don't know if they're going to unlock a, a lot of this. Um, so you've got even between your vibrato, you've got like a classic and a shake. Let's hear the difference of that. So we won't go too much, there's not much more we'll go into there, but let's bring all these controls down to keep that breath noise up. So you can also have mutes on your instrument as well. There's a selection of mutes as well. And you see these two big arrows on each side. So once you hit the uh, right hand arrow, you can see it even gives you a little picture of a mute in front of it and you can instantly <laughs> So 
So again, let me just fix my headphone jack, which keeps popping out, which you can't hear, but I can. Um, so you've got a selection of mutes. So this is a, a, a straight mute. And then we hit the next one. So this is... of it today with this DSP dude else we can so we'll skip over to the uh, how do you say cup wire mute so it's basically a cup <laughs> let's just call it a cup So the final one is a hand mute. Um, that's uh, pretty much so as you can see also all of these uh, things that you saw in up, up along the uh, left hand side are all available down here as well so you know you've got your pre to change your valves so all of that kind of stuff is down here as well um, you've actually got some effects too if you click on here you can see there's a compressor as well there's EQ if you want to turn that on so you've got an EQ built in as well and there's a reverb down the bottom too so pretty cool just to have some effects built in there as well there is a different view that you can uh, click so when I hit play here this gives you a completely different view for if you're using your iPad as the keyboard and you can use and you can see when you actually move your finger up the expression changes So you still can play this without a MIDI keyboard or without an expression. Uh, yeah, it's, I know it's getting hot and I don't understand why the fuck it is getting hot. I have no idea because it's, you know, this is so bizarre. I've been playing this for two hours last night with this and I didn't do this at all. But as soon as I start the stream today, it's doing it. I played it for an hour like this, exactly with this setup. <sighs> Who knows? I have no idea why. Uh, because we've had a play, what I might do, let's try and cool it down a little bit. We could even see if this helps as well. Let's go go in and let's just go total flat out. It's only when I've got the screen open that it's running hot anyway. So you so you have that screen as well so that's that's really cool um, and you've got a transpose button as well so you can transpose to 
Let's run through the difference between these. Let's see if we can bring, look at that, we're running hot again. <laughs> Okie doke. Yeah, I'm gonna have to throw the uh, iPad into the freezer, I think. It's, it's having a moment. All right, so this is the uh, French horn. I'll just leave. tuba I think I saw a bubba right uh, the difference between the C uh, so the E flat and so the differences between those from what I, I can gather I think it's in the timbers of them it's it definitely sounds like it's in the timbers so um, when you do listen to them uh, next to each other you can hear there's a slight variation in the timber but you can actually go in there and change the timber as well too so that's what I've got from the actual uh, difference between them As you can see too, look, it's all about the expression. Um, I'm gonna scoot, replace this one and bring in the, where are we? Swamp. Uh, God, if I could see my keyboard, that would help. That would be really nice. Um, the euphonium, let's bring this back in. And again, just show you how easy it is to set up the controllers. So I'm going to click MIDI, MIDI learn, learn. Uh, oh, that would help. I've got it. <laughs> I'm a doofus. We've got to connect everything up here. Good times. So we've got our controller. And... That's learnt. Next one. Growl. Learn. Number two. Should be showing you what I'm doing with my keyboard again. MIDI learn. This one. Learn. And now these are set up. Let's bring them all in just for some fun and really blow out the DSP. And where you really hear the difference between them is when you uh, change your octave range, right? When you transpose it. So just for an example, 
let's uh, turn them all off just to the tuba and we'll just hit the same note the bass tuba the French horn in F and the euphonium If we go up a step or we go uh, lower, let's go through them backwards now. So this is the euphonium. So you can hear the difference clearly there with the French horn. It just got a much deeper kind of sound there. And the tuba bass. <laughs> And the tuba in the B, B flat, it is. So they clearly all have very different sounds, yeah? I'm going to go one more time back through, just with the standard. So there you go. And remembering, I'm no expert at brass instruments. I don't play one. So, you know, just take that into account as well. I'm just playing with these and showing you what I have learned from playing with them. So I was on the beta as well and just messing around with them. But look, they're, they're super incredible apps. And sure, they cost a lot of money, but you can tinker with them to your to you actually can create some really amazing stuff and it depends what you are playing them through so as i showed in the last video you can play them through geo shred and get all the expression through that you can actually go and get an mpe um, so you know uh, there's, a, there's a whole lot of different um, controllers that you can use so you can even use a ue so if you know what a ue is uh, like the uh, the um, usb like um, wind instruments that uh, can plug in like by Akai and stuff. So, you know, you can connect uh, these up and use that. And the really good thing I showed in the last episode too, when you open up here, you do have a whole lot of presets built in. So you've even got a UE default in there. So you've got a whole lot of, uh, so the, the air instruments as well, the air MIDI instruments that uh, you can control stuff with. And these are all actually built in, baked into each of the apps. So you just the uh, breath controller. So you just would hit that bang the Aerophone AE10. You can just click them and they automatically set the templates and, and set everything up for you. So, you know, for 20 bucks each, do you need all of them? I don't know. That's up to you. Can you get away with just having a few of them? I don't know. That's up to you. Um, can you get them in a bundle? Hey, you can. You can save some money doing it as well. So they are all on special, as I said, as an introductory price until the 22nd of February. So, um, you know, uh, the, uh, you could just get a trumpet, just one trumpet and a tuba and be happy, you know. So uh, the next, uh, so I'm going to do another two episodes on it. Same way, we're going to go through the other two packs and look at them all again which uh, includes the trumpets and um, flugelhorns. So we shall be doing that in next week. So we might just make one episode. One of them might slip through before the sale ends. And remember, if you do want to uh, try and pick up a copy of this from the giveaway, you can do that also by liking this video subscribing to this video once it goes live and leaving a comment and we're going to change it up a bit i want you to put the hashtag <laughs> hashtag 
Swarm 2. Oh, no, Swarm 1, sorry. <laughs> Get that right. Swarm 1. Put a hashtag Swarm 1 when you leave a comment, please. Swarm 1. And um, that will let me know that you want to enter because some people actually just want to leave a comment. So put Swarm 1 in the comments of this one. Congratulations to the people who won the other apps. Now, I will be getting it back to you shortly because the way we're doing this is collecting all the winners and then sending that off to Audio Modeling and they will send me the app. So you may not get them for the uh, first couple of days, but you are noted and you will be getting them. Okie dokie. I think that is all for today. Sorry for the technical difficulties we had. It's always the way though with um, live shows. You sit there and practice your ass off all day, get everything set up hours before and then in the show, it just craps itself, yeah? But these things happen. So tomorrow, I think we will be looking at, just to let you know, let's shut this down. We will be looking at an app called, let me find it, let me find it, called WavePad. This is what we are looking at tomorrow. Um, this is really, really cool for editing stuff, yeah? You will really like it, I promise you that. Anyway, I can hear the bells, Fernando. Is that what it is, the bells? It's the music. Thanks everybody for supporting the channel. Thanks for hanging out and bearing with me with the sound issues today. These things happen. Who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow? Have a wonderful day. Thumbs up as well. Thanks, Bubba, for reminding everybody. And I will see ya tomorrow. Oh, yeah.